Hey everyone. At first I wasn't going to do this video, but I keep on getting calls, tag, DMs on Instagram and stuff like that. So we're going to get into pay, of course, treatment, and just everything. All things Tyson, all things that y'all might want to ask, all things that you need to know. So training or experience, whatever. First of all, as long as you have your CDL, you can go to Tyson. And you know, you got a good record and stuff like that. Um, good driving record. And they do accept people with a background you know what i mean but it just depends on the situation like what kind of felon felon or what kind of record you got and training was about four days and they pay eight hundred dollars for training pay so that's not really bad that's pretty good and training like i said it was for four days um but if you are a student of course it's four days and then if you are have six months experience or less you got to go out and train it for six weeks if you have seven months to seven to seven or eight months experience, then you gotta go to well, out with a trainer for a week after your four day um, orientation. Then after six months, you also get your um, week of vacation time. During the holidays, they also do a big old bonus. Like if you work for like I forgot, but it's like if you work during the holidays, it's like you get a, a good amount of money. I think it's like a thousand dollars or like fifteen hundred dollars, something like that. So the reason that I chose Tyson out of any other company is because um, I was like really into TikTok at first. And I kind of like, once I was leaving Swift, I kind of like wanted to know like, what company should I go to? And I had made a post and was like three or four drivers had mentioned Tyson's name. Like I said, what company treats the driver the best? And three or four people said Tyson's name. But the thing is, they are all over the road. So I think that was my issue with Tyson. I was at the, reg I was at the regional department. And, you know, of course, over the road is different than regional. And really the main reason, of course, you know, the time, the home time, but that's not really the main reason. The main reason is because one is dispatched out of Pottsville, Pennsylvania, and the other one is dispatched out of Arkansas. And Arkansas has a couple different dispatches. Like, it's like a couple different, dis couple different dispatches, whereas, too, Pottsville only has two dispatchers. And the problem was, like, say if you have an issue with your dispatcher, nothing's really going to get done because his father-in-law is the terminal manager. So, of course, you know, he ain't going to want to come to you, like, you know, his household, and then somebody he don't even know, a worker, a driver, or whatever, you are going to get pushed to the side every single time unless you go over his head, and he don't like that. Uh, he don't like that. Like, he even mentioned that at, um, at the orientation. Like, if you got a problem with something, you come to me. But the problem I had with that was I went to him, but nothing was done. Like, he didn't even text me back. Like, <laughs> like you didn't even text me back. So, I, I'll wait a little bit. But after that, who's the next person? Who's next in line if you're going to be mad or not? Shoot, that's probably that's probably why I ended up like, like how I did. Well, I think, that's, I think that is why. Because people was like, why? Like, people done did worse than that. Um... I do think that's why I ended up like how I did. Now I'm looking back, and then that I was complaining for my, I was like nagging for miles and stuff like that. I really do because when I first got there, he was like, "Oh, if you ever go over my head, um, and it comes down to something, I'm not gonna be, I'm not gonna help you." Like he said, "I he's not gonna be able to help you, but he ain't gonna help you." Basically, that's what that is. Like if you go over his head, but I had to like when it comes to livelihood and stuff like that. Like if somebody's giving me a thousand miles, eleven hundred miles a week. I can't love, I live in a no fees. I can't live off no 1250 gross. Uh uh. Yeah, I can't do that. So, yeah, I'm gonna go over your head every single time. And then whatever it's going had to happen, happen. And then and it happened. And I'm okay. Y'all okay? It's okay. Like, <laughs> anyway, I was told by three different drivers that I should go there. And then also, I was like on YouTube looking up drive reviews. And I was like, okay, it looks pretty good. It looks pretty good. It was either between um, Tyson or HMD. That was like my two choices that are like, oh, okay, I'm interested in both of these companies. And the deciding factor was I don't know nobody at HMD and it was like the driver that I kept on talking to. Um, I, yeah, the driver that I kept on talking to. Like we was talking on the phone and all of that and he was like, show me his like pay stuff and stuff like that. And he was grossing between like $1,600 to $2,000 a week at Tyson. But like I said, he is over the road. And he was dispatched out of Arkansas. 
Um, and he was like, no, you don't do regional. Don't ever do regional. But that's the only option they gave me, so I had to do regional. But I, I definitely would have did over the road because I'm tr trying to go wherever the money is at. Pay real quick. Um, so if I stayed out for five days, I would gross about twelve fifty, which, like I said, that's unaccept unacceptable to me. Like, that's not what y'all advertise. So, yeah. But if I stayed out for two weeks, then I would average, like, $1,800. Um, staying out for the whole two weeks, I would say the least I ever got was $1,600 a week. And the most I ever got was $2,200 a week. Gross. Like, when I first had started, I was having issues because, like, I remember this shit like it was yesterday. I live in Baltimore, Maryland. My first run was picking up something from Pottsville and taking it to that Costco and my real via Maryland. And that's 174 miles. And I was okay with that. Like, okay, well, he probably just trying to see how I run, how I drive, how I work. But then it kept on, like, being consistent that whole week. Like, 100 miles here, 200 miles there. And it's not like, I'll be okay with it if it was, like, drop a hook and I'm doing, like, a couple runs a day. Cool, whatever. However, however I get it, however I get it. But... And a reefer company usually is live on load and at Tyson. Tyson owns like at least over 20 companies that you won't even like. Oh, Tyson own them? Yes, they own state companies. They own Jimmy Dean, Sarah Lee, whatever. Like they own most of the meats that y'all be eating. They own that shit. So um, it like takes a long time for them to like sort everything out because Tyson own a lot of companies. It takes... My average dock time was probably like five hours. The most time I ever spent in the dock was like eight hours. The lease was like 30 minutes when I was at, um, I forgot what it's called. It's like a little, it's like a market. It's, a, it's an actual market, but they had a dock like right in the back of the market. And for two weeks, obviously, I was okay with the pay. Like, I, I was okay with that pay because I've been to a lot of companies that don't be paying shit. Um, trucking companies anyway, uh, they don't be paying nothing. So $1,800, I can definitely do that for two weeks. But the two weeks, it was starting to get like, because I was like, say if I only got 2,500 miles, I feel like in five days, I can get them amount of miles and then be back home. So I just felt like it was just a lot of games that was played, um, by my dispatcher. And it was a lot of favoritism. Like he was a favoritism type of person, obviously. Cause like, why would you get somebody to run for 70 miles? Never had that before, but, um, yeah. The thing that's okay, that was my thing. You give me 70 miles and you really, in your head, you think that's acceptable? And, okay, so then we're going to go get into the taxes. The taxes, they had a lot of taxes. Because then, um, they had, like, a tax that I wasn't even familiar with. Because at any t I feel like at any job, I never seen my, I never seen me getting tax from Baltimore tax. Like, okay, yeah, Maryland and federal, but it'll be, like, Maryland, federal, social security, um, whatever, a uh, Medicare. It was like a whole bunch of taxes. Um, Maryland tax, and then uh, Pennsylvania tax. Like, why I gotta get taxed in Maryland and Pennsylvania, or Maryland and Baltimore, and then federal, and then like three other taxes? It was a lot. And then, um, at orientation, of course, you know, they make you, um, fill out all of your information. They make you fill out all of your information. Of course, I put one for my deductions or whatever, like, me you know but i noticed that like i was getting a lot of taxes taking out my check and i asked the, i called the little lady the lady from payroll or whatever and i, I because and pop like i said possible was a weird place like so possible she's not even really like a payroll person she just a pros person in that building that does payroll and then she'll send it over to the real payroll people so i had called her like the lady that in the possible location because they're gonna always route you back to your terminal or whatever you know what i mean when you talk to them on the phone and so um she was like, I was like, oh, yeah, I see this. It says zero. It, had, it actually had double zero. She was like, oh, well, that's just like that for safety reasons. So she just filled my head up with fluff or whatever. Because, I like, at the end, I really, like, okay, this this really ain't right. Um, I listened to her at first. I'm like, oh, no, this ain't right. So I had caught up to the one in Arkansas. They're like, oh, no, it, it does say zero. I'm like, yeah. Is why I have you fill out that paper if y'all not even going to do nothing good with it. You go there, definitely watch out for that. Make sure they put in the right deductions because if not, the taxes is going to, you yeah. Problems with the, um, with the mileage thing, I email, well, I'm, I'm going to put the email that I sent on the screen or whatever, but I basically just was like, oh, this is unacceptable. I only came here because I heard this was a good company, but I must came to the wrong location. Possible is not a good location. Like, it's not. Because for real, like, why would you get somebody a thousand to 1100 miles a week? Like, how can somebody... How can somebody live off that? 
that doesn't make sense. And it, and, and it wasn't just me. Like, you know what I mean? Like, if it was just me, like, oh, okay, they got it out for you. No, they was not just doing that to me. They did it to this, to this guy that came in the same time I came in with. And it was actually, they was actually doing him worse. Like, um, like when he got his truck, his truck was filthy and stuff like that. He had to clean it himself. And then they said they were going to give him $200. But then they changed their mind and they didn't. Um, so yeah, like even a guy that came like a week after me or whatever, like he left like a week after that. Like he only stayed for a week. He's like, oh yeah, these miles is way too short. Like it's not like they have trouble keeping drivers at that possible location. Cause like when I had to drive with my dispatch or whatever about him giving me them low miles, it was like, they was not trying to let me get out there, uh, regional. Cause I was like, oh, well, why can't I just go to over the road? Like, let me just get this bitch out of Arkansas and, um, let me just go over the road. Because the man, because the um, guy, like I told you, that was, got me to go there. And he was like, no, you need to be on Blank and Blank's team, yada, yada, yada. And so I tried to do that. But he was like, no, well, we got our own over the road. And we could dispatch you over the road out of here. I'm like, golly. Oh, and another problem I had was, I don't know if it was because I'm a female or because people perceive me to be young, which actually, I think I was older than my freaking dispatcher. So that's the crazy part. But he would, like, talk to me like I was dumb sometimes. Like, oh, that is a lot of miles. Did you look at empty and loaded? Oh, yes, I did. And it's still only equaling up to 300. 300 miles a day is crazy. Okay, so let's go back to orientation. And if you want to begin training. So train, oh, well, let's just go back to orientation. Orientation was just a whole bunch of modules. Of course, you know, usually when you're doing orientation, they'll give you the modules before you actually come to the place. And they did. But I didn't do mines because most of the orientation I be doing, I be doing mines before I get there. And nobody else be doing this. And I just be sitting there looking stupid. And I just be sitting there looking crazy. So I waited to do mines. But it was the opposite this time. I was the only one that ain't do mines. So they all just got to chill all day. And, like, they was at the hotel basically all day. And I was sitting there. Uh, I guess they wanted to watch me and make sure I actually did my modules. Um, And if you are a student, of course, you know, you're going to have to do your modules. But, like I said, you're going to be there for six weeks. And you also will, like, have to take a final. Like, it's like a real test. Like, with, like, 50 to 100 questions and then a whole bunch of, like, practice um, study guides and stuff like that that you, you had to do. It's not optional. You had to do it if you want to be a driver there. Also, it does not matter what experience you have. You going, they're going to do a 60 and 90 day evaluation on you. Oh, and let's get into safety um, because I, somebody just messaged me the other day about this. Um, when you had a mega carrier, usually, or any mega carrier that I worked at, I'm sorry that I'm blinking. This this light is hella, hella bright. <laughs> so, um, any mega courier that I've ever been at, um, they will fill out your trailer number, your load number, and all of that stuff for you. But, like, at a company like this, that's not like a... Of course, Tyson is a big company, but it wasn't a big trucking company. You got to do all that shit yourself. Or, like, say you had a big company. I like, say if it's time for a, a preventable maintenance or whatever. You gonna do it at the terminal? No, you gonna have to find you a loves, and you gonna do it there, and you gonna wait there. All right, so let's get into the lunch. Lunch. Um, it was just they just so of course you know Tyson is a big company, so they got a lot of employees. So they have like their own little cafeteria. So they just gave us lunch out of a vending machine, which they had like you know sandwiches in the vending machine, frozen dinners in the vending machine, and he just used his card and um. Yeah, just got us some lunch out of the vending machine. That was lunch. I hope I said this, but my main reason for coming to Tyson was the benefits. I heard the benefits was all that in the bag of chips, so I decided to go because I needed those benefits. Um, Also, because they have a stock plan. Oh, I want a stock plan. I'm going to go there. That was really my main reason. The stock was my main, main reason. The thing that does that is New Spawn that I be telling the newer drivers to go to sometime. New Spawn. Our new spawn was a really good company. Okay, and um, job verification, driver verification, whatever experience verification. Tyson actually picks up the phone and calls your previous trucking companies. So yeah, but it's not they ain't just looking at your dad report or whatever hire right. Um, no, they gonna actually pick up the phone and call. And um, sometimes that can hold up your application if your order, your previous job would not answer the phone. Cause I've I've heard people. Cause I, you know, of course, you know when you work in somewhere, you do tell people like, okay, well my my company might be okay for you or whatever. Um, but I never give them my um my driver referral or nothing like that because 
I just didn't want to. Like, I didn't feel like that little, well, not little money. I think Tyson might give you like $1,500 to $2,000 per, 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 per referral. But I don't usually give you my referral um, code. Because I just feel like me being on social media, it's not worth it. Like, it's not worth the trouble that it can cause with me giving my referral code out. Oh, and a lot of people always ask me, like, okay, what jobs do that? What jobs hire people that have a background? Like I said, Tyson does hire you if you have a background, depending on the reason. I don't know if I told y'all this, but my first check was $700 at Tyson, like four week on the road, $700, because at Tyson, they do a guarantee, which is called bump up pay here at Tyson, well, there at Tyson, and it was $1,250 a week. Um, and I, how I feel is guarantees, bump up pay, that's the bare minimum. Like, you should not be trying to get no twelve fifty bump up pay. Of course, if you older, you don't care. They probably do want that 1,000 to 1,100 miles. So if you older, you only want to drive no more, Tyson might be the company for you. But like us, like road runners, us that's actually getting out here because we want to advance in life, we actually came out here to make money. No, that's unacceptable. We want that 1,800, you know what I mean? So we want to run. My first check was messed up because, like I said, I was only staying out for five days. I, but I told him that orientation. I told my dispatcher I want to stay out for two weeks, but he would just bring me back home every five days. I mean, I wasn't like, but no, I'm staying out. But because I, I had already told him, like, I'm the type of person, like, I'm not going to keep on telling you I told you that in the beginning. But, um, yeah, so they messed up my check. My check was only $700 because, like I said, him giving me them short miles, um, him giving me them low miles like that. Um, and then let's just say, yeah, him giving me them low miles like that. And let's just say I had four drops for the week. And that's, that's like, that's like $200. I only got paid. I, my check probably was like $749 or whatever. And I was pissed. Like when I was talking about pissed, I might, I, I don't think I mentioned nothing about my miles the first week I was there. Because of course, you know, you try to see like how it was going to go and stuff like that. But my second check was messed up for the second week, too. I think, I meant, of course, I mentioned that why was my check $749, but I wasn't mentioning, like, them baby miles that he was giving me. Um, and then my second check was messed up as well because Tyson was my first company that did lump of fees and stuff like that, and I, re I didn't really have no experience with lump of fees and stuff like that. Um, so Tyson was my first, and I messed up because I misplaced my check. And I did not upload it, so they took like three hundred or three hundred to four hundred dollars on my second check. But I wasn't mad about it because that was kind of, you know, I mean, I mean, that was my fault. I mean, they could have, you know, gave me a little grace, but I mean, rules is rules, and they did take like three hundred to four hundred dollars on my second check. But if you're new to that lumber, like these briefer companies that do lumber fees and stuff like that, do not miss it. <laughs> don't miss, don't misplace that. Um, and they do not hassle you at Tyson, like you know how some companies like Swift at Swift. They be like on you for like low, small, low driving, low infractions. Tyson wasn't like that. I know some people like that be talking about Tyson, like, oh no, I ain't going there. I heard they strict. I don't know how they are out of Arkansas, but out of Pottsville, they was not strict. I never heard from my dispatcher besides him assigning me a low. Or like, say, if my lumper didn't come to my Oracom, then I would message him, like, oh, do you know my lumper um, cool or whatever, something like that. And the trucks they have, they have Volvos, they got some Freightliners, and they had KWs, of course. I was going to get a Volvo when I first came there, but I don't like Volvos. Um, and I was, like, really, really cool with the trainer, so he helped me get a um, KW. If you uniform shirts, but you do not have to wear them, you only want to wear them. If you, like, you know, you want to look professional and stuff like that, then you can. Oh, and Tyson is really big on Tyson is big on safety, but like I said, they wasn't like hassling you. They wasn't hassling you or nothing like that. But um, so like, say if you got an accident or something like that, they will pull you back in for training again. But um, what I was saying about safety is you had to wear that safety vest anytime you are on a Tyson facility. You gotta wear that safety vest. The trucks at Tyson are governed at sixty eight. It's like the main three reasons like why I'm really picky of any company I want to go to. I don't do companies at 65 or less, do hair follicle or have in cab cameras, like driver facing, you know, facing you camera, and they didn't have none of that. Tyson is governed at 68. Tyson does not do hair follicles. They do um, urine, and of course, like I said, the camera is not facing you. I know a driver said they did try that once, um, but of course the drivers were complaining, so they stopped that very fast. Um, yeah. 
like I was saying about the live unload, regional is usually live unload. Most of it, really all of it, is going to be live unload over the road. That's where you're going to get the miles. Like, that's where you're going to get the miles. Um, so, like, say if I was out for two weeks, like I said, um, I would get, like, 3,000 miles for the week. Um, but if you're going to be regional, like I said, miles be low like a thousand miles a week like because tyson got so many people they working with and it's like they would always try to keep you close to home because they really big on home time but i don't need home time that bad where i'm only gonna be getting a thousand miles as an account with the blue beacon so once a month you can go get to the blue beacon and get your truck um you know get your truck service at the blue beacon and about the miles i feel like tyson or anybody that work regional you won't feel like tyson give all the good miles to over the road or if you're going to stay up for two weeks you get the good miles then or like um they give them good miles to them i know a lot of drivers had this problem like it was a driver that came up to me like probably like two months before i was leaving he was like yeah i'm leaving i'm going to a chicago company i got like 15 years of experience i'm not staying around here for this the miles is too short they be paying me 700 dollars a week i'm like what about the guarantee so like um they get him and he was telling me like oh yeah but they paying these outside drivers a whole bunch of money like way more than what we getting uh i wasn't tripping because i was cool with my little two-week check um oh my little um staying out for two weeks like my weekly check for staying out for the two weeks was so i was cool with it but i did like when i was leaving i did start saying what he was um saying also when i was leaving my truck started having problems like battery problems but my truck had this one problem since i got it eight um the APU, my APU did not work, period. Not period, but, like, it would work sometimes, but the other times it wouldn't. And it was real cold in Arkansas one day. Like, it was, like, I don't know if it was negative degrees or if it was, like, 18 degrees, and it just did not work. And I went to go take my truck there to get it fixed, but somebody was like, no, that's not going to get fixed. <laughs> and it damn sure wasn't fixed when I um, picked it up. And so dispatchers, the lady, she was pretty cool and she does give better miles than the man at the possible location. I was like, like I said, well, he, it was two weeks. He gave you some dicks and stuff. But the one week, like I said, 70, how are you going to get somebody 70 miles in a day? I'm still 70 miles in a day. I'm still like mind baffled about that part. So yeah, the miles, they was not there. Two weeks, you good. Or over the road, you good. Five days regional don't expect no miles you probably don't even want to do no miles just get your little um just get your bumper pay and just go ahead about your business thing the hotel in pottsville was pretty good but the hotel in arkansas it's a hole in the wall like it's a motel like a, and a bad motel like that but the hotel at pottsville it was good okay and so how they get you to this facility they get you there in a rental too and you can get fired from <laughs> When I was, and when I did start there, they was doing a vaccine, but I heard they don't do the, it's not forced vaccine anymore. It's not paid attention. They do not. It's a reefer company. They do not pay attention, but they do do layover after 12 hours at $100. Like I said, I feel like the possible location was not good, but I feel like if you go, are able to do over the road and, um, able to be dispatched out of Arkansas, you probably will have a good experience. You five days. If you don't have a problem with low miles, then you might be fine. But um if you like trying to be like a road runner within five days, no. You're gonna get like a thousand, maybe thirteen hundred at the most miles. No. You're gonna have to be two weeks out. Two weeks out or nothing. But yeah, um it was decent, you know what I mean? It was decent. But the miles that was a big thing for me. Um the miles because that's how you like that's livelihood you know what i mean like twelve hundred dollars for driving this dangerous vehicle i could shit honestly truthfully honestly amazon workers is making that like <laughs> in a warehouse um no certification you got good benefits so you know what i mean like if you older you need them benefits go for it all right so um don't forget to like comment subscribe share definitely leave me a comment Definitely leave me a comment. I'd love to see what y'all had to say. If you ever been to Tyson or ever drove to Tyson, leave a comment down below. If you think you're going to go there, leave a comment down below. Subscribe to the channel. We're going to be doing more company reviews in the future. And in about three weeks, I'm going to be doing something like a lot of people tell me about their companies or whatever. Um, So I'm going to be taking 
what people be like be messaging me about their companies uh what i see in the facebook groups and like in reviews from indie and we're gonna be reviewing jobs or whatever and if you have like an experience that you want to tell me about with a certain certain company we're gonna be reviewing it and the most popular company that i always see people asking about is western express so we're gonna start with them first and this will be starting in one week so send me your job review no matter what company i just want to hear about it we're gonna review it Send it to me in my email, cherishbar586 at gmail.com.